So I feel like I'm the only person that's struggling with keeping notes on my computer. And I don't know why this is the case, but I just feel like, like every single thing is just a mess all the time. I don't know if you can relate to this, but this is what I'm trying to solve. And uh, I've lately, I've been going really deep into this log sec thing, uh, which is this note taking app that I've mentioned in the chat before. Check um, on my, some of my other videos. I'll link to some of them in the description as well too. But if you're new to this world of like note taking on the computer, man, you could go deep with this stuff. It's actually in, unbelievable how deep you could go. You could be a professional note taker. And I know there's people that actually take notes for a living, but I'm like just shocked at how deep some of these people go. So in any way, in this video, I just want to talk about some of the improvements I'm trying to make based on things that I've learned about LogSec. And uh, hopefully um, you might be able to get some value out of this, but really this is just an experiment that I'm trying to just figure out, okay, what actually will work and Maybe this might work for you, maybe it won't. So anyway, let's just, let's just jump right into it. So first of all, let me just highlight a couple of these guys that I've been watching. So um, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Mess Sha, Ven, Babur. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this guy is really, really good. He's In this video, he's talking about the um, para method of keeping Ready to say goodbye to the headaches. Thing. And then um, on that note, I started reading this book called The Second Brain, which everybody seems to be talking about. So I was like, you know what? Just going to read the book, figure out what this thing is about. And so it's this whole notion of, uh, let me just pull it up. It's called uh, Second Brain. Yes. And it's this idea of basically just taking every single thing out of your head and putting it into a, a system of taking notes. So that's kind of what's going on here. However, like I look at these people. Hassles and, that come with this one second here. I look at these people and man, am I just blown away by just the details that they put in and the effort that they put into taking notes. And I'm just sitting here on the sidelines. I'm thinking to myself, I would never do that. Like I was like, I just, just you, you could be a, just a, just a, a professional note taker as I described to you before. Um, so anyway, I found this, um, I don't even know how to read this chart properly, to be honest with you, but I, mean, I thought it was kind of interesting, right? That XKCD, in case you don't know, it's like a website in the olden days that, you know, has like these kind of daily comic type of stuff. And this is one of them. So it gives you this sort of chart of like how much, how often do you do the task, a specific task, and then how much time do you, um, you shave off. And then it's kind of like a, give you a gauge, at least that's my interpretation of it. So you can figure out how much time you should be spent on a specific task. And if it, if you spend more time on a the task, then therefore it's worth it to take off, take the time to automate it is kind of what you're kind of getting at here, right? So in other words, if you spend uh, four minutes on a task every week, um, then it, then you know you might just shave off like one second. But if it's like twenty seven minutes or something, it's five seconds. So it, this is how much you're shaving off, right? So two hours, you maybe shave off thirty seconds on the task if you automate it. So it's kind of like giving you a gauge. I actually don't really know how to read the chart if I'm being honest, because I'm like there's a lot of stuff inside of here. But anyway, the point is that um, you can spend an enormous amount of time just foots in the wrong with just trying to get the perfect note taking system and and that's like that becomes your profession rather than just getting your work done and moving on right and that's how i feel however i've been legit going through some real problems with this process of taking notes and i've just been trying to figure out like what's going to work for me so this is really just a glorified experiment and as i go along as I, you know I, I share my experience and that's basically what this channel is about in case you're new to this channel by the way um i just share stuff about my own personal journey about productivity challenges programming and and if that's something that you're interested in just kind of learning on the fly as you go then please feel free to sort of subscribe anyway so this guy um really good it gives you some really interesting principles and how to think about notes etc uh this guy i just found out about him tools on tech and he has a bunch of series on log sec and also very fascinating but they they go really deep you know they're talking about um, connecting LogSec to a Git system, which is basically the program in the world to keep track of like the sync the note sync the notes in the background. Uh, and then there's this guy here, which I just watched an entire video about, and he was talking about how to do templates. So um, I actually kind of learned a couple of things from him how to do templates and properties. So that got me thinking about how to try to make my own system. So I, that's basically what this video is about. So with that, 
here's the problem that we're kind of trying to solve for. So number one is every day I wake up and it's just this blank slate and that's fine. I'm happy with it. But really and truly what I would like in the perfect world is this sort of back and forth. Like I'd like to get to a place where my notes is helping me to help my brain think about information, if that if that makes sense, right? So actually, let me do my favorite thing, which is whiteboard it. So let me just talk about this just for one second. Humor me here. So let's say that you, like I come into my office because I got a, a den, that's my office. It's like a 11 by 11 space. That's my, that's my sort of like my, my own sanctuary. And here's my ultimate goal. I'm going to share my ultimate goal. This is not what this video is about, but I want to share my ultimate goal. Okay. What I want to do is I want to wake up every day, which I normally do. I'd like to wake up every day for the next hundred years. Um, and I want to walk into my office. Okay. This is me. I want to walk into my office. And this is a perfect world, okay? We don't live in a perfect world, but this is my perfect world, ideal. And I'm, I'm going to have something. Let's call it a camera. Let's call it some sensor or whatever. It's going to detect that I just walked into the office. And then it's going to detect that I decide to sit on my chair, okay? That's what it's going to do. And then, obviously, I'm sitting in a chair. I'm sitting by my computer desk or my monitors. Uh, and only when I do that... It's going to ask me the question of, hey, Dwayne, um, here are the thing. Well, first of all, this is voice. So let me just tell you the idea first. Um, so it's going to speak. So think Alexa, Google Home, whatever it is. And it's going to um, tell me what are my priorities for the day. Right? I think, geez, uh, was St Tony Stark, right? Iron Man, that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to go that far. I'm just trying to solve a problem. And this is a real thing that I'm trying to work on here, okay? But but hear me out. I, I have to take baby steps. So so that's the idea. So tell me what are my priorities for the day, what are the things that are up on my calendar, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It just, just gives me a full report of what are the things that I need to focus on. So I don't have to think about it. I should just be focusing on the on the thing. And then at some point, I should be able to do an, something which is like maybe press a button or uh, at a certain time of the day, right? Maybe it's like five o'clock or whatever, assuming that I'm still sitting at this desk or in the office. It's gonna ask me, hey, so how did your day go? And then I could just verbally, without having to type this stuff on the computer, just verbally say, you know, I had this problem, blah, blah, blah. And it'll ask me sort of a series of questions to understand what happened throughout my day. This is the perfect world. We don't live in a perfect world, but that's what I would like to do, okay? And the goal is that this thing is just going to help me to stay focused. That's the idea. That's a pipe dream. So what do we have? What's the next best thing? Okay. Since I'm not Tony Stark here. Um, so I, I've mentioned this before. Logstack has this concept of just every day you come in, it just gives you a blank slate. And it's the, literally the one thing that I like over OneNote. I talked about this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into OneNote. With OneNote, you have to kind of create your own right categories and systems and templates and then you kind of have your own structure or whatever uh so you have to it's for it, one note forces you to start writing and to create your own scheme whereas this at bare minimum it has this concept of this journal so i come in here and start typing notes right off the top so it's like you have to type something here the problem is it's blank slate so i had this thought process of well this is where templates come in of what if every day it'll ask me a series of questions because again, I don't have a, a voice system. So it's just going to ask me a series of questions. So I have to type them out and I have some questions here that will ask me. So the first one here, just so I don't have to keep typing this all this stuff out. The first one would be like, Hey, what are your top t uh, three tasks for the date? Basically. And let's call this a, right. So it's going to ask me a question like that. And then I'm going to do like, um, task one. Just so I have a template task two, task three, right? So just so I have a template or whatever. Then the second question that is going to ask me is, uh, how are you feeling today? I, I don't know if this is what I'm going to stick to. It's just what I have in my head right now. Because honestly, every day I wake up and I feel a little bit different. So I want to know. I want to keep track of that. Am I going to use that information? I don't know. But that's just how I feel. So I feel great. 
feel like producing content, right? Whatever. Right. Uh, next question that is going to ask me is, um, what are you motivated to work on? Because honestly, like I said, every day I wake up and I got a random different idea in my head, and I just want to be able to just just track that. So, what are you motivated to work on? I'm motivated to work on my application, my startup, right? As an example, okay. And then um, the other one I want to know is like, what are your wins? What are the things I just like? It's like it was a great day. Um, what? It, so it's five a.m. So it's pretty early right now. So my wins is um, just got some time to myself. Right? Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. What are your losses? Um, losses is not very productive. Right? Every day, just ask me these questions and then store it. Now, what is the goal here? The goal is, is obviously that every day, if you keep asking me the same thing, it'll force me into a habit of just being a little bit more structured with uh, the information that, that I, the, the things that I need to focus on. And then obviously I could go back and look at it and kind of see. So I think what needs to happen here is this needs to be like, um, it needs to be some sort of title here, like, oops, D-I-L-Y. D-I-L-Y, daily agenda. So it'd be like, okay, and then this goes in here. So that's my daily agenda. Okay, good. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna just erase, just up to the bullet points. Oops, I don't wanna, okay. So maybe it, maybe maybe I'm just gonna just leave it like it is for now. And then what I'll do is, and then apparently, so this is where I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. But oh right, and then one more um, wins losses. Um, rate your. Uh, I have a couple more that I wanted to put in here. So so rate your performance one out of ten, and then I'm gonna say like a six or a nine, or whatever. And then the last one is journal. And this is just sort of like a, just a free for all. Where I could just kind of, just random thoughts. Right, and just to be clear, the goal is to get to this. So the goal is if I keep building up this system, eventually I'll have a thing where I could translate this sort of like very manual type in version to a voice system of some sort. I don't know what that looks like. I'm just saying today, this is what I have. Tomorrow, I would like to walk into my room and this is, and it would basically just kind of guide me because I'm a very verbal type of person and I just want to be able to do that. So that's basically the goal. Okay, so now um, I should be able, if I highlight this entire thing, according to the tutorials that I've watched, um, I can make it into a template and I think to do that is, Oh, right, yes. So I have to click on this thing here, right click here, make a template. And then I could say, daily agenda, right? And we're gonna keep that because, oops. Um, let's back up for a second here. So right click, make a template, daily, uh, daily. oh my goodness. I didn't save it, that's why I'm, I'm going back to the same thing. So right click, make a template, D-A-I-L-Y, A-G-E-N-D-A, -E save, okay? So template, daily agenda, imp include parent block. So I think this is included, I think. Not 100% certain, but I think, right? So now that I did that, I think if I come down, so let's pretend that this would, didn't exist for a second. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just get rid of, uh, let's just do this. So yeah, so let's just do it here. So now we could come here, could do forward slash templates, click daily agenda, bam, there we go, right? And that will be the starting point. But it gets better because apparently you could just hook it into the system so that it automatically does it on a daily basis. So 
if I remember correctly, he said that you have to go here, go to settings, and then you go to <clears throat> global custom configuration.edn. And I guess there's a global cost configuration. So should I do it this way? Maybe I should do it this way. No, that's not the right thing to do. Ignore that. Let's just go to here, settings, and then do this one, I guess. So here, journal. And then I could put this here. So I could say daily. That's the that's the template that I would like pulled pulled up. And then this apparently will automatically put the template in every day. So I guess I have to wait until tomorrow to see it, I think, right? But the point is that tomorrow, when I open up this, I should have this as a template. And that'll allow me to just kind of come jump in and just start answering the questions that I, that I want to be able to do. Uh, I'm going to continue doing a few more series on this as I get a little bit more understanding of how to think about um, LogSec. Let me know if you guys are getting value from this. Let me know if this is something you want to see more. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm just trying to just work out in my own process how to keep notes and be a little more structured with what's going on with my day. And um, if you're getting any value from this, please feel for, free to subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, helps my ego. So that's all I care about. <laughs> okay, have yourself a wonderful day. Talk to you in another video. Bye-bye.